Hi guys, welcome to my lounge floor and let's have this important discussion. It's taken me quite a while to come up with this video because I didn't want to really jump on the hate train. I kind of wanted to collect my thoughts and put it into one decent, solid, good thought because I did have a lot of opinions on the situation. I also didn't want to sit in silence because this is something that did upset me so deeply because as a young curvy woman this guy pretty much directed his hate onto me and women like me. When I saw that Gymshark photo, which I will insert over here, I saw myself. It was empowering to see a woman with a similar body type on a website that is all about perfection and health and fitness and looking a certain way. I'm sure many other women felt the same way I did and I'm very proud of Gymshark for posting that photo and I'm very proud of that woman for posting that photo. To give you a bit of backstory, my body image issues started when I was around 12. I was made aware of my appearance by some really bad influences and I've been struggling with it since I was 12. I've had to seek therapy for an eating disorder from the age of 13 and that's something I still struggle with to this day. Do you mind? We're having a serious conversation over here. My weight has fluctuated my whole life. Even when I was at my skinniest, it was never skinny enough for me. I went through a phase where I was gymming twice a day, eating vegan and it just, it still wasn't enough for me. I just still wasn't happy with myself. I just could never come to terms with the fact that I'm built the way I'm built and nothing I do is going to change that. Which is a terrible thing because why should we not be happy with the way we are built? Like why should we be struggling with the way that we are made? Like no amount of diet in gym is going to get rid of the way my body is made and I just could not come to terms with that. On top of that, I've been placed on medication for my mental health that has severely impacted my weight. And I know many other people are in the same shoes as I am. And I really don't think it's fair that people have to choose between their mental health and looking a certain way that society deems as perfect. And that is only one of the many, many, many things that can affect someone's weight. Like, you have no idea what that person is dealing with or what their health is. So you have no right to judge how they look. I mean, I may not look like it, but I love a good long gym session. I can physically lift some serious weight and I'm very proud of that fact. But no, my body does not reflect that with a six pack or anything like that. And I feel that's the same for many people, many normal people. I'm still learning every single day to love myself. Like I can't stand here and say that I I know what it feels like to love myself and be happy with myself because I don't. It's a struggle that I struggle with on the daily and I see that in my friends, I see that in my family, I, I see it all over the place. I see people struggling with themselves. It's hard to love yourself the way you are and that's why it's so disgusting to see people like Donovan put other people down when it's already so difficult to fall in love with yourself and accept yourself the way you are. As someone in the fitness industry, the last thing you should be doing is driving people away from the gym. It's daunting enough going in a gym. All you should be doing is offering encouragement and advice. You shouldn't be trying to deter people from going to gym if it's your job to help people get in better shape. All Donovan did was just validate everyone's insecurities. But I don't want to waste my breath addressing the dipshit. I would rather address the people that have been affected by his message. You are all beautiful and you are valid and you are incredible and you are loved and you are enough. Think about when someone asks you why you love another person. You don't automatically go to, oh, I love them because they're fit or I love them because of any physical features. You love them because of them, of who they are inside. And that's why people love you. It always goes way beyond the physical aspects. The physical body is, is very little compared to who you are as a person. You are worth so much more than how you look. It's so cheesy, but it's so true. And I think, especially to the younger generation, we need to be a better influence and we need to be shouting out more body positivity because 
my heart bleeds for 13 year olds like I was like that little 13 year old girl that was told that she was not good enough and that she did not look good enough I just never want another kid to have to hear that or to feel that I do also want to acknowledge that health is a very important part of things like I'm not advocating for unhealthiness I'm advocating for being healthy mentally and physically but health is also not determined by shape and size please excuse jingle bells in the corner she's just having a grand old time while I'm trying to film something very serious here yeah, yeah. can you not all in all I'm I'm really really sorry to people that were affected by this man and the things he said. His apology was absolute crap. Just know that there are more people standing against him than there are people standing with him. And for once, I actually really enjoy seeing the outrage on social media because I love to see the amount of body positivity that has come out of him screwing himself over on Instagram. It's a beautiful thing to see a community of people be so accepting of people's appearance and people's bodies. I hope this little rant could make someone feel slightly better about themselves. That's all I want from this. I hope you have the best day ever and I will see you soon. Bye guys. Naughty little shit making so much noise in my video.